Uh, first of all, he did not rise on Sunday. And even if he did rose on a Sunday, nowhere did he leave instructions for anyone to start keeping Sunday or the first day holy. The only day that the Christ of the New Testament observed as a Sabbath day was the seventh day of the week. This is the day that the creator of the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that therein is rested and was refreshed. And that was the seventh day on the week. This is one of the commandments that the creator took his fingers and wrote on a tablet of stone. And this is the day that I keep. So, okay. So what day uh, did Jesus rise on is my question. You didn't answer my question. Well, the day, according to the New Testament, uh, that he rose on, they said they went into the support very early in the morning as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week. And when they got there, in all four books, it said he was gone. They said as it began to dawn toward the, well, let's read what the New Testament says. Let's go first one to Matthew, the 28th chapter. Now, according to 28th chapter, and I'm just reading this for you because I don't care who jumped out of the grave and what day they're supposed to jump out. I keep the Sabbath day because it's one of the laws of the Most High. But you asked me a question pertaining to your book, and that is what day did Christ supposed to have risen? Matthew, and what? according to the 28th chapter of Matthews, starting at the first verse, it says, In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week. Wasn't even the first day. It began to dawn towards the first day of the week. Well, it's they, the end sir, of the Sabbath. Yes, well, sir. let me ask you this. No, but, well, no, if it was the end no, of the no, Sabbath and before the next day, then what day was it? Yeah, what day yes, was sir. it? Uh, now, you can argue over that all day long. No, it sounds like Sunday to me. No, it, it sounds like Sunday no, to me. It was the end of the yesterday, so it must be the next day. Is it, what was it, no day? I don't remember yeah, I mean, a no I day. Heard of Monday, no day. Tuesday, no day, Thursday. I don't remember that. So it got to be right. someday. It right. had to be someday. And I can understand people saying that it was on a Sunday because they said it was the end of the Sabbath, which is Saturday, right? Sir, I can answer that when okay. uh, if y'all give me an go opportunity. Ahead. Well, go ahead, sir. I'm sorry. Uh, according to this book, you asked me what day did he rise. It does not say, but it does say at the end of the Sabbath, when it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, he was already gone. So it don't say that he was, he left. Friday night or Sabbath, it just say by Sunday he was gone. So what does this not say? It does say that on Sunday he was already gone. And what does that mean? That means the one excuse that you all grab to use as keeping Sunday holy has been taken away. Well, I totally disagree with that. Jesus said, I will tear down this temple, and in three days, I'll build it up. That's three, three, days. three days. If you start off on Friday and end up on the end of the Sabbath, that sounds like Sunday to me. Like now, we, first of all, I think we're arguing on something that is very minute, uh, minute as to what Jesus was really trying to do. The fact is, he rose, and he gave us resurrection power within us. So we now have the, the ability within us to stay free from sin and free from the things that the song was talking about before we began to talk about killing one another and about drugs. We now have the fact that the, the right to stay free from those things So you're, uh, and the ability to stay free from those things. Well, let me, let me comment on both things you said about free from sin. But before I go free from sin, you made a few remarks about three days and three nights. According to Matthew's, the 12th chapter, this is the only place in the New Testament where the Christ of the New Testament gave and showed his disciples and described to him and to them the only sign, I repeat, the only sign that he said he would give them to prove that he is the Christ is that he would be in the grave three days and three nights. No, that's and not that, true. Can I, that's can not I, true can whatsoever. I, can, I, can I read this before Well, you can read that but, that, but that's not true. Let, sir, me, read it. let, me, ahead, let me read this, and I'll tell you what, what is recorded that mm -hmm. Christ had said, the 12th chapter, mm -hmm. the 40th verse. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly. Uh, now, we'll start at a 
the 38 verse. I want that for them. Read the 38, 12, 12, 38. 12, 38, Matthew? Yes. Okay. Uh, Since what you said I said was not true, we'll see what the book says. Start reading that, the 38th verse, please. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it. In other words, he said uh, they were seeking a sign, but he told them there should be no sign given. And he said, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. Keep reading. But the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights. But notice, no, there shall be no sign given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so should the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So my question is, if that's the only sign that he gave to an evil and adulterous generation that was asking after a sign, my question would be, gentlemen, how can you get three days and three nights from Friday evening to Sunday morning? Three days and three nights from Friday evening. Yes, the Sunday to morning. Sunday morning. How would you get that? What do you mean? How would you get? That? <laughs> yes, sir. Friday, he said. Saturday, how can he die? Sunday, yeah, the third day. He wrote. Sir, if you die Friday evening, Friday evening to Saturday evening is one day. Saturday evening to Sunday evening is two days. Now, when they got there Sunday morning, he was already gone. That's not three days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. No, Friday evening. To Saturday, Saturday evening, is two days. No, no, Friday to Saturday. Are you talking about what? the day? Or are you talking about the hours? He said he I would mean, be you're talking twenty-four Saturday. hours. Or are you talking because twenty-four hours is one day? But if you talk about Friday, Saturday, then Sunday, then we're talking about three days. If you're talking about a twenty-four hour day, if that's like me starting right now and then meeting you back here, and I call that a day. But sir, according to the you know, New so, Testament, you know, so I mean, <laughs> well, I can answer that. Okay, according please do. to the New Testament, he was buried and gave up the ghost Friday evening. And how can you get three days and three nights from Friday evening to Sunday morning? Okay, now let me ask you something. What's today? The day day as we know it is Sunday. Okay, so if I tell you to meet me in three days, when would you meet me? If you tell me to meet you in three days and three nights, then I would have to count three day periods and three night periods. And there was three, no three day periods and three night periods between Friday evening to Sunday morning. You don't have that, sir. But let me ask you this. Uh, however you try if to I count. Start, and like you, right you, now, you're a school teacher, aren't right, you? Right, but if it's the evening. Well, right let now. me ask you this. Being a school teacher, Friday evening to Saturday evening, how many days is that? If you count the Friday that you were existing on to the yes. next day, that's Friday and Saturday, two separate days, right? No, you have to start. You're talking about the 24-hour period. That's what you're talking about. Sir, you would have to start your count Friday evening. And the point is, he said he would be in the grave three days and three nights. Okay. And you're not getting three days at periods and three night periods between Friday evening to Sunday morning. How, regardless what kind of teacher you are and how intelligent you are, you just can't get that in there. That's impossible. 